1942. A few days ago, Father began to talk about going into hiding. He said it would be very hard for us to live cut off from the rest of the world. He sounded so serious, I felt scared. But don't worry, Aneki. Just enjoy your carefree life while you can. Carefree! I was born on June 12th in 1929. Because we're Jewish, my father emigrated to Holland in 1933. He heard Hitler's marching gang sing that horrible song when Jew blood spurts from the night and he knew it was time to leave. But Hitler invaded Holland on May 10th, 1940. Five days later, the Dutch surrendered, the Germans arrived, and the trouble started for the Jews. My father was forced to give up his business manufacturing products used to make jam. We couldn't use streetcars anymore. We couldn't go to movies or the theaters anymore. We couldn't be seen out on the street after 8 p.m. We had to give up our bicycles. No beaches, no swimming pools, no libraries. We couldn't sit in our own gardens. We couldn't even walk on the sunny side of the street. Our identity cards were stamped with big black J, and we had to wear the yellow star. But somehow life went on until yesterday. A call up from the SS. My sister Margot was ordered to report for work in Germany to Westerbork, a transit camp. A call up. Everyone knows what that means. At 5.30 this morning, we closed the door to our apartment. My cat was the only living thing I said goodbye to. The unmade beds and the breakfast things on the table created the impression that we left in a hurry. And our destination? We walked two and a half miles in the pouring rain all the way to 263 Prince and Grotch, my father's office building. Our hiding place is right upstairs, the secret annex. Even though the Germans forced my father out, he still runs the office with Mr. Kraler and me, who've offered to help us while my family's in hiding.